In this question, we're asked to find 3 to the power negative 1, or more generally, a to the power negative 1. Let's consider 3 to the power negative 1 first. The most common wrong answer here is negative 3. So what's the right answer? Well, we can look at 3 to the negative 1 and consider that as the answer to a calculation. One of the calculations that would give us 3 to the negative 1 as an answer would be 3 squared divided by 3 cubed. Why is that? Well, using the rules of indices, we know that when we divide numbers written in index form, we subtract the indices or powers. So 2 minus 3 gives us negative 1. 3 squared divided by 3 cubed is 3 to the negative 1. We can write 3 squared divided by 3 cubed as 3 times 3 over 3 times 3 times 3. And we can cancel these down to give us the answer 1 over 3. So 3 to the power negative 1 can be written as 1 over 3. Similarly, if we had 4 to the negative 1, we could write this as a calculation. And one of these could be 4 squared divided by 4 cubed, because 2 minus 3 will give us negative 1. Again, we can write this out in longhand. 4 times 4 over 4 times 4 times 4. Cancel this down and we get 1 over 4. Is there a pattern here? Yes, there is. If you look at our two answers, 3 to the negative 1 is 1 over 3 and 4 to the negative 1 is 1 over 4. Any number to the power negative 1 is 1 over that number. So 10 to the power negative 1 will be 1 over 10, 100 to the power negative 1 will be 1 over 100, etc. So a to the power negative 1 will be 1 over a. This is a general rule. Any number raised to the power negative 1 is 1 over that number.